it's Monday night and that means I've been working for about 20 hours over the weekend at least I would say on the game and I'm feeling like positive because I've got a lot more features in like the holding cell but I'm also feeling negative because I've got so many tiny little things to fix so <clears throat> let's build a holding cell so this is one of the new features let's go and take a person in um, we have a bit of new art so I can take the person I can either go and put them straight into a cell block or I can put them in a holding cell which means they don't earn any money so there we are there's Donna and Rose <clears throat> Rose what a great name huh um, let's make it a bit more exciting oh look they're all the same type of person oh there we go let's have Joshua Come on, Josh, go in there too. Okay, so now I have like three people in here. Cindy's new art looks really cool, I think. So with holding cells, you can transfer people into different places. So let's let's have Rose and Joshua. I've only got one cell, so oh, I don't want anyone to die. That would suck. So um, I didn't get to select my cell beforehand, but doing the cell selection building this whole stupid system for transfers took a really long time it's really complicated and there are loads of bugs like making sure that when you transfer someone they actually appear in the overworld in real time um, it was crashing because it wasn't finding their cell correctly uh, I was duplicating people from one list to another so you transfer someone into a cell and then you end up with like two copies of the same person which is great I guess if you want to cheat in the game um, so there you go well, hey, it works um, also worked on another feature, which actually let's build another cell. Uh, quickly, build another cell. <clears throat> so you can pick where you want to go, kind of thing. This tiny, tiny little cell. I do like the fun of the idea that you can balance the difficulty that levels by picking your own cell size but a bug for example is that this seems like it's done but there's no way for the player to scroll the camera so <laughs> if they build a cell that's bigger than the screen they're kind of stuck because I haven't written that bit so that's another thing I've got to write oh I didn't actually want to do that I wanted to let's go and play again I want to kill people everyone's gonna die okay oh the corpses aren't working another bug so I think the funny thing is I feel like I'm getting close with the game, but you can see so many tiny things to fix. So now another tutorial. And the graveyards appear. So people can actually die, and then I can revive them if I have a holding cell, which I do. So currently it says watch ad, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but there you go. So now they just appeared in the holding cell. So I can transfer them, Douglas, from the holding cell well, I don't want you, <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, I've started working on the collection screen as well. Wow, look at that. Oh, now I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere because my code's so good. But more importantly than that, see if I can show this. Uh, I guess I should make it full screen. How do I do that? Oh, I'm so confused. Look what that is. Look at that. It works, kind of. I think cameras work. All joysticks work and stuff so we actually got it working on switch which is pretty awesome there's a lot of progress but um i kind of think that now it's a really hard bit because as i mentioned every single screen has something wrong with it this is a very long video isn't it it's supposed to be a tiny little update but i guess because each update is going to have less and less things in it and take more and more time um everything's wrong like this is not done that ui right this thing at the top that says your money, it looks like ass. Uh, these buttons are all too small to do on a phone. Um, this is like super hacky. The sign in doesn't work, which means the cloud save doesn't work yet. These button highlights are wrong. Um, I can sort of go way off the map and not recenter it. I think there's probably like, I don't know, a couple of hundred tiny issues. So we'll see how long they take to fix. but. The whole like making a game fast and documenting it is certainly an interesting experience.